Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for joining me on my latest Fortnite Creative Beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can use the Day Sequence device and why is it important as one of the latest updates or changes in Fortnite Creative, which is really cool, even though not that intuitive, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Now, if you want to get the same device, you simply go into your content, search for Day and you'll find it here, Day Sequence device. Day Sequence a device to manipulate light settings in the day sequencer. Now we have the same device right here and we're going to set it up. You can place it anywhere in your level. So once you get it, as you can see, we have our regular setup when it comes to the sky, the sun, the fog and all other environmental elements. However, if we start to manipulate them, you'll see that we have loads of options. First of all, we're going to change the day night cycle mode to a fixed time you have several at your disposal but we're going to keep it to fixed time and the first thing you need to understand is this the 24 hour cycle so you go from zero which is basically midnight to 24 which is again midnight the next day now we're going to change a lot of elements here we're going to keep this as a night scene so we're going to go all the way down to let's say one and it's going to be uh, let's 1.5 and it's going to turn into a night scene now the second thing we're going to do is we're not going to change the priority fade speed volume and over blah 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 we're going to override stuff and once you go for override you're going to see options open up so let's first of all override the sunlight and we have now sunlight intensity, sunlight color, sunlight rotation and so forth. So we're going to keep it, we're going to go back to off. But if we go again to override fog, again these open up. And this is sometimes confusing to players because they don't know what's happening. But here is the elements that you can now change. So let's change the color of fog again to something blue and let's intensity make its density more intense and we're going to set this again to something like lighter blue as you can see there are a bunch of options all of them can be now manipulated with and we're going to keep it and as you can see we have a lot more bluish tint around now we're going to go back again we over we have overridden fog but let's say if we want to override skylight again we have now the skylight intensity we can increase it change the color again let's place it to something blue and once we go there as you can see a lot more blue tones are present in the same level and all of them again are available if you go here to see the modified options you can see all of the things that i modified but it happens only when you choose to override these elements otherwise you won't see them and that is a kind of a thing that is complicated stuff to users to players to gamers and creators but by simply going override sky in this case you have again options that you can change including these which are pretty cool when it comes to the size of both moon and the sun so we can increase the size of the moon to one and we can add a lot more intensity to it and we can also change the color we'll go again for a bluish kind of color and increase the halo size of the moon and the halo intensity as well and we have here the star brightness we can also boost this up and once we get that as you can see we have loads of stars in the sky this is uh, probably a problem when it comes to rendering but the moon is enormous and we have a completely different scene so if we go and start the game we're going to see all of these elements in action looking really really cool Again, we have this, I'm not sure why it's happening, probably some kind of a bug. This is a new device, so it's possible that it is malfunctioning 
from moment to moment but this is the basic elements of the device and how you can use it especially the explanation why you should check out those elements of overriding stuff which then allows you to manipulate them that's what often confuses people with the new device hopefully this cleared it up thanks a lot for watching this video a lot of you actually requested the video so th big thanks to all of you for asking hopefully this helps thanks for being here if you'd like to support me please check out our range of options you have in the description below you can check out my patreon page you can check out my channel memberships you can check out my books on amazon but of course the cheapest easiest fastest way to support me you ask why it's to simply subscribe to my channel leave a like leave a comment if you have any questions and be here for my new clips that's all from me my name is Ivica thanks a lot for watching have loads of fun in your fortnite creative adventures and i'll see you on my next video until then bye bye